welcome to my channel skip try or buy so for today's review I am actually going to review my new Cricut machine but before I talk about it let me tell you I was calling this thing a circuit machine I was talking to my mom like yeah I'm getting this circuit machine because you know I'm all crafty and stuff and she was like what is a circuit machine <laughs> she was like are you talking about the Cricut have you ever looked at a word and thought you knew what it spelled and how it sounded but you really weren't paying that much attention. That's what happened. So I'm here to talk about my Cricut machine. Or is it a cry cut machine? I don't know. I think people say Cricut, but I know it's not circuit. So let's get into it. I am actually going to do an unboxing for you. Yes, I managed to wait and do this on camera. So we're going to do this together. I also got some, um, some other supplies to go with it. So just for all of you who may not know anything about this Cricut machine, is it is a machine that allows you to do everything from print vinyl stickers to uh, put like decals and stuff on shirts. Uh, you can cut fabric with it. As we're actually, you probably can't see, but I've got fabric all around me. This is my crafting area. Um, but it lets you do a lot of different things. You can engrave, you can put stuff on wood. And I'm a crafty type of person. And I really want to get back into that because it's one of my big loves and I enjoy it. So when I heard about this machine initially, I was like, because it was very expensive. Um, it's coming out a little bit in price. It's still very expensive. But if I'm able to do the things that I want to do with it, it actually is like having, you know, five or six machines in one. So I think um, that makes it worth it. And so we'll see. So again, I'm going to unbox this. We're going to look at it together. And... Of course, as always, let me give you my review. So, yes, I'm a prime customer because they're here like almost every day. <laughs> and they be trying to get me with that, hey, you want your delivery date of Wednesday? No, I want it tomorrow. Okay, so, um, so now first thing, if you know me, I'm not about brand names. I mean, if the brand name is the best and I need the best, then it's good. But the brand name is good but the non-brand name is just as good, just a little cheaper than I'm going with that. So the first thing, I'm going to be honest with you, is I got some accessories to go with it. And these are not by Cricut. Um, it looks like it's by Knee Kappa. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that all kinds of wrong, but that's okay. Um, so it looks like it comes with a spatula, which helps you lift like decals. A weeder helps you lift little precise like cutouts and stuff. A scraper. Um, some scissors some tweezers and a scoring stylus so this is actually neat you can actually score stuff to make it easier to um, bend or, or close like if you were making a box you know you make those boxes and they're scored so they're easier to fold anyway so I got this do I need it I don't know but everybody else was talking about it so I thought I should get it plus there were some bundles online that came with something like that so I was like okay so maybe this is what I need now, the first no no that I'm going to do, so look away, is I don't have my regular scissors over here and I'm not getting up to go get them. So I'm going to use a pair of sewing scissors to open this box. Don't tell my mother she would have a fit. Okay. Um, maybe I, uh, look, <laughs> I got all these things. Maybe I'll try this wrench first before I damage up my sewing scissors to see if I can get this box open. So just talk amongst yourself while I'm working on this. All right. I think okay I got some of it up. okay first of all let me say y'all this box is heavy I did not realize I don't know if the machine is really this big or has a lot of stuff in it but I'm, you, you can't see this you see it says team lift oh nobody told me this so uh yeah it's really heavy I even had a hard time getting it on the table so I was not expecting it to be that heavy but I guess that's good um Maybe they'll mean it does what it says. Yes, I'm still here. If you can't see me, I'm still here. I'm cheating. I'm using the scissors, y'all. Just a little bit, though. Just a little bit. All right. <laughs> so. All right. Oh, okay. So this is the outer box, but it actually has an inner box. And I'm going to sit this up so you can see it better. Again, guys, this is heavy. You can probably see my table is shaking. Um, so it has this inner box inside of it. Inner box. So we are going to pull this out. I, I kid you not, this is a true unboxing. I haven't done anything with this. So let me see if I can get it out. Uh. <clears throat> oh, this should 
not be this hard. I know I would not normally open it like this, but I was trying to be cute and open it on camera. Maybe if I do it this way. You know how you see those YouTube videos and it's like five hours later. <sighs> so this is the Cricut Maker. It says versatile, powerful, revolutionary. Um, it says it's the ultimate smart cutting machine. And I'll turn it around so you can actually see the front of the box. Cricut! Okay, so just so you know, if you're not aware, so Cricut has several different machines. So they have, um, I think they have three machines, and they all are like different levels and do something a little bit different. This is, uh, I guess, the ultimate sh machine that's supposed to do pretty much everything. So I decided to go ahead and get this one because I don't want to get one that doesn't have all the features and then wish I had them and have to buy another one. Like I said, these things aren't cheap. So uh, I want to go ahead and get what I needed to get my project started. I got a lot of ideas and things I want to make. So. So I am just going to open it up. I guess I should have lowered my table so you can see me and see this a little better, but you know, whatever. Ah. Okay. So, I'm going to turn this on the side just for a minute. So you can see what I'm seeing in the box. Okay. So the first thing you see is it has a box in the box that says, let's get started. So I'm going to pull that box out. All right. Then it looks like we actually have the machine here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some of this stuff out. Now, hopefully because I have it on the side, it doesn't void my warranty. It better not. Um, let's see. I mean, they got it in here pretty good, which is good considering it's not a cheap machine. All right, so I got that out. Ah, oh, this machine is way heavier than I ever thought it was going to be. That's interesting. I got these little gel packs. I hate these things because I have a dog and I always think, oh my God, what if I lose one, it falls out, she eats it. Even the cardboard in here feels heavy. You know how that is and you're like, is there something else in here I'm missing? But no, this is it, okay. So, <laughs> put this stuff over here on the side. Good thing y'all can't see my floor. Oops. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we have the actual machine here, which I will sit right here on the side for now. Um, the neat thing about these machines is you can get them in colors. So we'll see what color I got in a minute. Um, let me make sure I get rid of that. Okay. So the Let's Get Started. Now I have machine, the Let's Get Started box. Also I have plug, plug it up with. And it came with cutting mats, which are really interesting because they're not, oh, they have plastic on them. I was going to say, because I have self-healing, oh, they're sticky. Okay, let me stop touching them because I don't know what they're for yet. Okay, because I have self-healing mats and they don't feel this way, but um, one is called a light grip and one is a fabric grip. So maybe that's why they're a little sticky. It would be helpful if I read directions, right? Okay, we'll get to that. All right, so let's get started. Yes. You're like, Dana, you're 25 minutes into this video and I'm bored. So <laughs> let me go ahead and get into here. And I don't want to mess any of this box up because I don't know whether I'm keeping this if it doesn't do what I want it to do. Uh, Y'all know I'm probably keeping this. If you're a craft junkie like I am, you know what you ordered, you're keeping it. All right. Oh, look, it's so nice. You know what this is like? Y'all know this is just like opening your first iPhone. All these boxes in a box and all these materials. It just looks so oh, nice and crisp. That's what this is like. And guess what? It costs just as much as an iPhone too. Okay, anyway. Um, materials for your first project. So that's a little envelope. 
and it's funny it has this open me first you would think to open me first maybe should have gone in front of here yeah I'm, I'm redesigning their packaging open me first can you see it and then there's the materials for your project um, there's a welcome booklet and there's what I think is a rotary cutter, if I'm not mistaken. Can you see that? Here. Might be a little blurry. Uh, so you have another cord. Not sure what this is. Something plastic. A pen. And warranty information. Okay. So. Let's see. We're going to look at the thing that says open me first. So we're going to open it. And I'm going to open it. You can see. Oh, zero one. Unleash this beauty. Oh, look. They're cards. Okay. So it's telling me the first thing to do is unleash it. Plug in and power on your fabulous new circuit machine. It tells you on the back. All right. So that's step one. So let's do it. All right. Get all this stuff and move it out the way. Oh gosh. So you can see I got it in the mint green color. Something else just fell on the floor. Okay, anyway, I got it in the mint green color. It's beautiful. I mean, it's wrapped in, oh, this is so nice. So I'm going to open the plastic with my scissors. Oh, look. It's so nice. It is. It's just like getting an iPhone. You know, the excitement is there. hope recycling's coming this Tuesday. I got a lot of stuff to get them. Okay. So it says unleash it and then it said plug it up. I fell on the floor, but I got it. I mean, this is a true unboxing. So you're seeing it all. Oh, I love when they do this. So they gave me a little um, Velcro strap. I like that. So I don't ever have to worry about well, what happens if I want to put it away and I don't have a little twist tie. Got a permanent one. So I guess you plug it in back here. That's good. So step one is done. It's plugged in. I was expecting it to make a noise or something. It didn't. Um, all right. So step two says get connected. Go to cricket.com setup and we'll walk you through every step. I don't have no computer in here. So I tried to go to it with my phone. And, um, of course, it made me download an app. I hate stuff like that. Y'all, I don't have the latest, newest, greatest iPhone. I don't have room for every app on my phone. Like, I get so annoyed by that. I don't want to download an app. And now that I'm in the app, the first thing it wants to know is my name and email address. And Do I have to log in to everything all the time? Lord, I just want to cut some paper. Am I being unreasonable? Y'all, you're going to be mad, but yes, I did click that I want to read over the terms of use for this cricket before I just be accepting everything. I don't know if y'all saw that new movie that's out, but the girl didn't read the instructions and then they start killing people. Oh, I love this. Although we may attempt to notify you when there are major changes to these terms of use, you should periodically go just check them out yourself. <laughs> Right, let's just pencil that in on my schedule. So basically, this is like, hey, if you use this, why well, I gotta be 18? <laughs> I mean, it's telling me all kinds of stuff, like not using it for this site or any site for fraudulent activities. I have to be located in the U.S. and nothing I do with it should break the law. 
Oh, you un y'all listen, you understand that we may monitor your internet access location without creating an obligation to do so and may use techniques which are intended to block or restrict access from a jurisdiction in which participation in the site or any sponsored activity is illegal or restricted. Again, back in the day, I had an instruction booklet and I plugged it up. I didn't have to deal with this kind of BS. I don't like this, y'all. I mean, you know, Big Brother, like, I I remember the net with with Sandra Bullock in it. I don't know if y'all saw that. Mm -mm. No. Okay. Now it's telling me to select my machine. Did it turn it on for me? Because what happened to the turn it on button? Okay, it says, during setup, we'll make a practice project with materials in the box. Fun. That is fun. But shouldn't there be something to set this up first? Welcome to the family. Uh-huh. See, because that ad popped up, I didn't get none of this. Welcome to the family. Let's set your set up your machine and create an ID and make a front I already did this. Y'all, I should have unboxed this off camera. This is turning into something horrible. They told me to open a power button. I have no idea where that is there a button over here? No. Y'all I'm feeling crazy. I don't see no power button. <laughs> Y'all, I do not see a power button. Maybe I have to go ahead and open. See, cricket. Y'all assumed that I knew that this thing opened and did something. This is very neat and I like it, but I didn't know that. And so I didn't know the power button was in here. Do I take off this? It didn't tell me to. I took it off anyway. Okay, power button. All right, so we cut the power button on. It says connect. Lord, y'all, more thing. Now I gotta connect it to my Wi-Fi. One moment. Okay, so I have connected it to my Bluetooth. So now it's in the list with 35 other things that are connected to my Bluetooth. And it says now let's update. Let's make sure you got the latest and greatest been so nice if you had just shipped it to me with the latest and greatest feature. You're only a cut away. It's registered. It's ready. Let's make the simple card included with your machine. All right. So I'm going to make this project. So it tells me to load a pen. Now it doesn't tell me to take the top off the pen. And I know that sounds dumb, but you know, I believe in making instructions so everybody knows what's going on. I would think you take the top off, but honestly, I, I really don't know. Here's the deal. If it lets me take the top off, then apparently it's supposed to come off. So let's see. All right. So it has me put the pin in. I don't know if you can see this, but it has me put the pin in here. So I'm just going to stick it in here. And flip it closed. Pin is in. All right. Open the other clamp and we're going to put in, oh, this is a fine point blade. Oh no, I think that's already in there because there's already something in here. And I know this came with two blades, so I'm going to assume that that's the fine tip one. Okay. Place white card stock on mat, mat aligning with top left corner. Keep mat pushed against the rollers, position mat under both mat guards. Which mat am I supposed to use? I'm so excited, can't y'all tell? Oh, okay. Lovely. I hope all the steps are recycled. All right, so in the kit, I got uh, a piece of fabric, um, a piece of cardstock paper, and another piece of, and it's actually nice, kind of linen-y cardstock. So it says to take this and put it on the thing, on the mat. Now, I've got two different mats. It didn't tell me which one, but since the pink one says uh, fabric, I'm assuming it's the blue one. So we are going to put it on the blue one, which is the light grip. So it says that this step of the interaction, you will work, or the tutorial, you will work and interact with your machine. So it tells me to stick it up here in the corner. And all I'm doing is laying it. Ah, oh, it does stick to the mat. Okay, it's laying it on the mat. Trying to make it line up right. I don't care. It doesn't have to be perfect. 
we're just testing this out. Okay, so you see, all I had me do was put the piece of cardstock on this mat, and this mat is kind of sticky. Then it tells me to take the mat and place it in here. Under these rollers, do they lift? No. How do I get it under the roller? Alright, so not under the roller. So I just have to push it in right here under these. There are two little clips in here. This little clip here and there's one down here too. And then this, there's a little arrow here that's flashing. You may not be able to see it, but it is a up and down arrow. And so, um, does it matter which, is there a top or bottom? Does it matter? I guess not. Anyway, so it says just to press that button. So it's feeding into the machine, and you can see the machine is moving, or it was. There's a fast mode and a slow mode. I'm going to do the slow mode because I've never done this before. And then you just hit the little cricket button. <laughs> I'm not impressed. There's like a smudge on the paper and that is it. I mean, it's drawing up there and that's really neat. But there's a smudge on it. It's almost like um, something was on the actual machine and it kind of rubbed off on it. I probably can't see it and I don't want to move it but it's it's drawing you see that it's drawing on the action card so let's see what it looks like all right so it's drawing I got a little hungry and I got some snacks oh my god this is so cool y'all not only did it draw but it embossed it is it done did it cut it out too should I take it out so the first thing it has me do is actually remove the pen. Alright, so I got the pen. Now it says to remove this to pull up the edge, then flip the mat over and pull down on this. Oh, this is cool oh y'all this is actually pretty cool it's messed up because like I said there's a line up here and I don't know why but I think this is where you would use one of those tools to lift it with but I haven't opened that yet and this is just a test anyway so I'm just gonna bend the mat a little bit and pull it off I know you pro circuit people I mean pro cricket people are having a fit because I'm doing something wrong, I'm sure. Cool! And then it says to fold it in half. I presume that's about half. Okay. So let's fold it in half. And I probably shouldn't have done it on this mat. Alright, so let's fold it in half, and then it tells me to insert the liner. Oh my gosh, this y'all, this is so cute! Okay, look, it's my first card! And look, you can see the cutouts, it, um, it's a kite, it has the word smile. Oh, that is so neat! I think I'm going to sell this on eBay or Etsy. You want to buy? Anyway, this is cute, okay, okay. That was fun. I'm not going to lie. It was a little annoying to get it all started up, but now I feel like I'm a professional. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some things and then I'm going to follow up with you. It'll take me maybe a week or two to make some stuff and then I'm going to give you my review about what I think about this machine. Okay, stay tuned. This better work because I don't want to have to send it back. Look. What do I do? Do I need to press the add? Do you, like, what am I supposed to be doing? Like, this is crap. What's new? I've never even seen it before. I know I'm old, but this is ridiculous. 
I ain't crazy. <laughs>